Okay, time for a match with the green black, I guess delirium ish deck. Yeah, this looks fine. Prowler, captive, we have rise from the grave for later, and we have some mana. I guess this could be a risk of flooding out, but if we draw some creatures and spells from here, it looks like it can also be pretty good. I like uh, Prowler, I mean, 5 mana is not super much when you have cards like Captain, Captive. And when we, if we get to flip it, uh, Prey Upon with a 4-4 four -four against White something, looks like it can also be good. And yeah, I mean, getting it, get, getting the ability to turn into a 4-4 with actually also a uh, relevant ability has certainly pushed Savannah Lions into playable range for me. Oh, that guy we can actually kill already uh, if we target our captive. And since white red has a lot of tricks, I do value killing the Lone Rider now instead of playing the Stallion, even though I could play the Stallion. Because we don't know next turn he could maybe attack, <coughs> he could uh, play any combo trick uh, that makes its power more than 3, and then have a 4-4 four, four uh, lifelink first strike, which would be very annoying. Okay, so we're playing Mardu. Uh, let's see what that ends up. Being. I guess it could be white red splashing black removal, for example, or black red. Oh, we're, you're, I guess it's not splashing Lone Rider. So it looks like white red splashing black for probably removal. Uh, okay, so we have a lot of lands, but here we could just go for the flip and have a really good attacker, which since we're not under a ton of pressure, I feel like that's fine. And if it dies somehow, we could get it back later, and we can still wait on playing the Stallion, I think. Uh, okay, Mardu, what's up with that? Two, two for two. Okay, so he has... We saw the Battlements. Let's hope he does not have... The 2-3 that goes with it. Okay, Blood Mist. So, it seems like it's white-red aggro for sure. And Double Strike is hitting as hard as our 4-4 at the moment. But we could still attack and play the Stallion. Maybe get a trade in and uh, then bring our Stallion back or something. As long as our 4-4 four four is alive our opponent and our opponent is not on a high life total, it feels fine to keep on attacking. I guess if our opponent has the combo, the meld piece, then we could be in trouble. But they need 5 mana, I think, to make that melding going. Hmm... And if they attack and has and they have no good play, we could attack for seven. Okay, peace of mind. I guess a card uh, drafted with Lone Rider in mind. Don't know if I would play peace of mind with only one Lone Rider, but I guess if I had two or three of them, I might stretch out playing cards that I don't like normally, just to be able to uh, flip them, I guess. Okay, what's it? Okay, they real okay, they have the combo. So, and yeah, I don't have a regular mouse since I'm on my Mac, so I can't actually make the large image shenanigans. So it looks like we do have mana to flip. The captive and that will actually be a pretty good blocker and if we attack here I suppose I presume that our opponent will jump block with the 2-2 because if we had just any green combo trick we could go for the win 
So I'm certainly attacking here. Probably just getting in for three with the stallion because they're not going to block with the garrison, obviously, since they can flip next turn. But it doesn't even it doesn't look like we are dead on the crackback either way. Because uh, even if they flip it and give it double strike and get the two three twos, we can still block with a four six. And if they have no other play, we might just win on the crackback again. But let's see what they do next turn. They might have removal and wait on the meld. Uh, but then I guess we could grapple and step and then maybe rise from the grave next turn or something. Opponent is down to six. So if they just tap out an attack, we can attack back for seven. And then they're dead. Unless they somehow also discard a card. No, because they need 5 mana and tapping the battlements for the melding. To yeah, okay, so they had the land. But if they go for it now, I think they're dead either way. Because the creatures, the, the three twos are tapped and attacking. Yeah, okay, so I think our opponent is dead here. We can... Assign captive as a blocker on the 7-4. Then flip the captive. Absorb 6 out of 14 damage. Take 7 plus 6. Go, then we take 13 going to 3. And then we can just attack back. So our opponent should stay. Oh no, because they're dead. Yeah, they sh yeah they're dead either way actually. So they just might go for an alpha strike and hope that I somehow miss that I can flip the captive, but we're not going to do that. Yeah, so our opponent is actually dead. So <laughs> I've never played against uh, that meld. I've played with and against Graph Rat melding with Midnight Scavengers, but not this rare meld, and I have only... On the GP in Stockholm, uh, my fr uh, a, a guy I actually won against later played against someone else, and I was watching them, and they melded Bruna and Gisela into Brisela. That was pretty cool. Uh, but that's the only time I've seen that happen, actually. That was sealed. Okay, so we have to be wary of the meld. It feels good that I actually kept on attacking with the 4-4 because otherwise we would not have been able to win that game. We don't have anything in particular to board in, I think. It just feels like we have to hope that they don't draw both of their rares in a situation where we are behind. Otherwise... I mean, we have some good removal also. I guess we don't have the card of murder, but... We have some other good stuff. And again, we have turn 1 Prowler, turn 2 Captive, potentially turn 3 Stallion. And if we need to get to the late game, we have the Newsgraph mob. Which is a card I've been very impressed with in sealed so far and I cannot imagine that it's bad in draft uh, yeah we have an attack even though we're on the draw and we can play the captive and if the captive survives we can play the stallion next turn and if the captive still survives we can play the mob on turn 5 and uh, just hope that it doesn't get removed. Opponent has the, gar uh, the garrison again but we have a blocker for it this time. I guess removal now would be annoying. Uh, next turn, I don't know. Hmm. 
Okay, that's... So it's going to become a 3-4. I still don't think that they should attack. Okay, they are attacking. But I'm going to go for the double block because we know that we have good late game in the flip and the mob. And if this works out, I am very happy trading for. Because he might just sand have sandbagged the land uh, and I don't want to encounter the riding township again if I don't have to. Now we can transform. Uh, we can either stay home and wait for the mob to join us or we could attack. I guess we could trade 4 for 4 if we want to because we also know that the mob is coming down next turn. Because if our opponent has removal, I think they will go for the 4-4. Unless it's a burn spell that doesn't do enough damage. They could get their 5th land now and play, I guess, Reduce to Ashes or something. Ooh, that's annoying. So they drain each time a creature attacks. So we have to try to make our opponent's board state as small as possible because uh, them draining each time is going to be problematic but now we have something that's coming in and if it sticks we can uh, traverse and grapple next turn producing a wider board than our opponent and if they play anything next turn we also get another zombie and the noose graph mob is the perfect creature to rise again from the grave. I mean, let's say you get all your counters from it, it dies, you bring it back, you should be able to win from there. We have that combo in the deck, let's see if we can, if we have to uh, stay alive for that long. A wide board of 2-2 zombies also sounds like a good place to be, even if they are draining. I mean, they have to produce, our opponent has to produce a lot of tokens to actually beat us in this race. And, I mean, the Lone Rider flipping will surely be annoying, but for it to flip, our opponent has to run their entire board into our wall. Kill, he has to sacrifice three creatures here to make the flip. And I don't think they will do it. Doesn't sound good, but no, they don't. Okay. And I guess we could grapple, see if we get delirium, and then see if we can use traverse to find something great. Or otherwise maybe just bring back the stallion and replay it, I guess. We don't have delirium, so we might as well get some... We might get the stallion back so we get some value. And we can replay the stallion and get another zombie. And our opponent doesn't have good blocks. He's, he has to offer to... Yeah, he has to double block and the 4-4 four four if he wants to kill it. And I actually want his board as small as possible since it drains. So I think I'm going to attack with just the 4-4. Four four. And then next turn we can flip the captive, for example, having another big attacker. And we leave all the zombies home for blocking since we don't want him to be able to just alpha strike and flip the lone rider without having to sacrifice a big chunk of his board state hmm yeah that enchantment is pretty annoying I guess that is the splash part of the splash 
could also be black, white, splashing red for the garrison because it's a good bomb. I don't know. Because I guess he wouldn't splash the vampire noble. So what's happening? Okay, he's emerging. So he will flip Lone Rider. That's annoying. And now he drains for three. And we only have eight life. And the Lone Rider flips. And <laughs> was that a good draw? <laughs> Pretty good draw. I, I, I was actually thinking that otherwise we could have traversed for it, but now we didn't have to. Because we have Delirium with Grapple, Forest, we have Sorcery, Instant, Creature and Land. So we can actually just play Kindly Stranger and kill the 4-4 first strike and maintain a decent board state. We, and if our opponent gets to 8 creatures, I guess he can just suicide attack and kill us. So we have to try to uh, make his board stay under that. But we had the mana to go get the kind of stranger and flip it either way. So I guess the top, end, the top deck just saved us one mana. Which... <coughs> I guess didn't end up mattering that much, but it was still good to draw it. And they take it, okay. I guess we could traverse for, what do we have left? Maybe just another captive to have more late game. Four sixes look like they are pretty good against him. Because we have already drawn our mob and our kindly stranger, so I guess the captive or the biggest things we can go get. It's probably better than the Prowler because a 4-6 is obviously bigger than 4-4. Four, four. Makes our opponent's blocking a bit more hard, I guess. Yeah, we take a captive. Yeah, I like Traverse in a Delirium deck. It's good against Mana Screw and it's good to sandbag until you need something. I guess, yeah, it looks pretty good in our deck. We have a ton of zombies. We still have, we have a stallion that can pump. We have a one, two that can flip. Uh, yeah, we should be able to win from here, I think. So if we transform that, we have good attackers, we still have a lot of blockers. And opponent has to trade their biggest creature for anything on our side. And uh, maybe the witch should stay home. Yeah, because he can trade for the 6-4 and it dies to the 3-2. So yeah, we leave it at home. We attack with the 4-4 and the 4-6. And next turn, it looks like we might be able to use Alpha Strike for the win, depending on what our opponent draws, I guess. Okay, so they trade with their biggest creature. And this is very good because now they only have three creatures on the board. And we have five, six, seven, eight. And uh, I mean, all of our creatures either eat or trade with what our opponent has at the moment and we know that we have two more creatures to play they can't attack okay so we'll see what he does here he has to jump block and still die unless he has like two removal spells and we can play three more creatures post combat yeah there we can we can pump he still dies. I guess we can save it if our opponent lies up, lines up double removal here. He didn't. Okay, so we beat the meld, the rare meld, and we're moving on to uh, semi-finals in this 8-4. See you there.